So in this video I do a teardown of the uh, it's a 140cc uh, 5 foot pound torque uh, Briggs and Stratton lawnmower engine. So it's in the 3.5 to 4 horsepower uh, range. These uh, overhead valve engines. I've just started to get them at the scrapyard lately. This one's a 2013 gas tank air filter carburetor on this side, gas tank extra bolt, 7 bolts on the uh, crankcase here standard uh, crankshaft so I'll do a uh, complete tear down on this engine so the first order of business is to remove these three screws here and uh, you can use a 5 16 but they're probably actually 8 millimeter. You're going to need a 7 and an 8. You, you probably get away with a 5 16 but you'll definitely need a 7 millimeter socket on this job also. So they've and probably a 10 millimeter for the head bolts. So they've that's the first thing they've they've gotten rid of all the standard. They're not all standard uh, sockets required now. So once I remove these three funky looking bolts the top cover comes off and now the gas tank can slide out it just slides in the slot there unfortunately I can't do it with one hand but uh, next could be the flywheel or gas tank carburetor I'll do gas tank carburetor so you pop open the air filter door take the filter out and then you've got this bolt this bolt which are 5 16 or 8 millimeter and these two which are 7 millimeter and the carburetor and gas tank will come off so there once you remove the primer slash air filter housing carburetor pulls off along with the gas tank gas tank slides in those slots there kind of like Tecumseh used to make so that's just uh, kind of uh, one unit there I don't it, it looks like the carburetor yeah it's got some screws in it so it would top will come apart from the bottom anyway next would be the flywheel nut which is rather difficult because you got this sheet metal housing around it now but I've already un, undone it so take it and you take this funky looking recoil thing off there there we go flywheel key went flying and these flywheels you can tell them because they got the two the two holes in them that the little flathead flywheels don't have and then you undo these five bolts there and then you have to pry because right in this area is your uh, crankcase vent cover so once you get those five bolts out Voila, there's your cover there that you'd have to re-silicone if you're putting it back on. There's your uh, crankcase vent that leads to the carburetor. It's got a reed valve in it there. So, if that fails, I think you'd be pulling a lot of uh, <coughs> oil smoke out of the exhaust. Because um, it would be pumping it into the carburetor. So, next here would be two options. You can take the overhead valve cover off or you can undo the four head bolts. So these guys would be 5 16 or 8 millimeter and these guys are 10 millimeter. Actually we'll go for the muffler next. It's got two 8 millimeters on it there. Okay so got the muffler off. Just uh, two screws there and then it just basically falls off. There's no threads or nothing there. And also got the OHB cover off there. Now the bolts for it are special. They're more like sheet metal screws. They got uh, coarse thread on them. Most of the rest of these are very fine thread, probably a metric thread. I'm just guessing at that. Um, two of them though that go into the carburetor are uh, like a sheet metal screw. So anyway, there's our uh, valves. Now um, the head bolts would be next there. Undo the spark plug wire. 